Hi, I'm Amory Cool, a CVT engineer at Polaris Industries. I've been working at Polaris for eight years, and in that time I've worked on Snow, ATV, Razor, Ranger, General, and the Ace lineups. I'm one of a team of engineers that's wholly dedicated to improving CVT belt durability and CVT system reliability. In this video, we're going to talk about why Polaris engineered belts are the most reliable and durable CVT belt solution. The two main causes of CVT belt failure are excessive heat and interference with CVT system components. Because Polaris engineers are able to work directly with the belt vendors to develop their CVT solution from the beginning of a program, we're able to develop the minimum amount of tension required in the belts to prevent slip, which would cause excessive heat. Contrary to popular belief, excessive tension on belts, which while may reduce slip, can actually cause temperatures to be significantly hotter than what the belt can handle. While aftermarket CVT belt solutions often claim to be made out of a higher temperature rubber such as EPDM or HNBR, these two materials will also run significantly hotter in application unless additional clutching changes are made. In order to realize any of the benefits of these higher temperature materials, an entire CVT calibration and tuning exercise would have to be completed. With that comes additional cost and a significant amount of guesswork as you develop that solution. Additional issues with those two rubber materials are consistency over time. EPDM has a tendency to have excessive wear over time, causing clutching to vary over the life of the vehicle. With the use of a lot of HNBR, CVT belt RPM becomes very erratic and temperature dependent. So the RPM a vehicle runs when it's cold is very, very different than what it is when the vehicle is completely warmed up. This results in bogging, it results in over-revving and potentially hitting the rev limiter, and decreased overall CVT performance. The second cause of failure is interference with CVT system components. While a lot of aftermarket CVT belts have very impressive cog heights, unless additional changes are made in the CVT system, interference with critical components may result. What you'll often see is that the inner cogs will interfere with the driven clutch unless changes are made. If the inner cogs begin interfering with radii in the driven clutch, it causes uneven belt loading as the belt is forced to twist in application. This results in excessive heat and cord pop-out failures as well. One final potential issue that's specific to our engine braking vehicles is aftermarket belt overall length. Aftermarket CVT belts can be too long for the application, which can result in belt slip across the one-way bearing. This results in one-way bearing failure due to the heat buildup and damage to the inner cogs of the belt. Thanks for joining me today. If you'd like more information, see Polaris.com or contact your local authorized Polaris dealer.